Uh, as I have said before, and I firmly believe, and my administration is always represented, women have a right to come forward and be heard, and I encourage that fully. But I also want to be clear. There is still a question of the truth. I did not do what has been alleged, period. I won't speculate about people's possible motives, but I can tell you as a former attorney general who's gone through this situation many times, there are often many motivations for making an allegation. And that is why you need to know the facts before you make a decision. There are now two reviews underway. No one wants them to happen more quickly and more thoroughly than I do. Let them do it. I'm not going to argue this issue in the press. That is not how it is done. That is not the way it should be done. Serious allegations should be weighed seriously, right? That's why they are called serious. As I've told New Yorkers many times, there are facts and then there are opinions. And I've always separated the two. Politicians take positions for all sorts of reasons, including political expediency and bowing to pressure. But people know the difference between playing politics, bowing to counsel, cancel culture, and the truth. People know the difference between playing politics, bowing to cancel culture, and the truth. Let the review proceed. I'm not going to resign. I was not elected by the politicians. I was elected by the people. Part of this is that I am not part of the political club. And you know what? I'm proud of it.